move on. Rachel Ruto has earned a name for herself in Kenyan politics. During her tenure as the deputy president's wife, she has advocated for women's rights and also empowerment through the Joyful Women organization that has spurred development through a table banking uh, initiative or CHAMA as the locals refer to it. Here now is the story of Kenya's first lady, Rachel Ruto. Although the spotlight is mostly on her husband, President William Samoy Ruto, Kenya's first lady, Rachel Ruto, is an eloquent woman interested in the empowerment of women across the country. Her humble demeanor coupled with her religious attributes has earned her the admiration of many. In the eyes of the typical religious Kenyan, Ruto's meteoric rise in the political space is largely credited to Rachel's prayers. From very humble beginnings, she rose to become a successful woman that many look up to for guidance and inspiration. Rachel Chebet Ruto was born on November 20th, 1968 in Kakamega in the western part of Kenya. She went to Lukuyani Primary School in Kakamega County and later proceeded to Butere Girls High School for her O and A levels after which she joined Kenyatta University for a Bachelor of Education degree and later Catholic University of Eastern Africa in 2011 for a Master of Arts degree. Despite excelling in her academic journey, she did not get a chance to practice as a teacher for long. She ventured into the tour business, taking people throughout the country to places like Masai Mara and Mombasa. Rachel met and started dating Ruto while she was at the university while her husband William Ruto was at the University of Nairobi studying botany. The two got married in 1991 and now have six children. Wonderful, wonderful. They are looking good. She has been a great support system in her husband's political career. While touring the country, Rachel identified the struggle women in rural areas face, walking long distances to get water. And this problem gave birth to the project Drops of Gold, an initiative to help women get clean water for use. She executed this project in collaboration with the Kenyan government. She is also known for table banking for groups, commonly known as chamas, which operate on a merry-go-round basis as a way of empowering women to save and invest. <laughs> Rachel Ruto under the umbrella Mama Cycling or Cycling for Forests, together with other cyclists from Spikings KE and KR Cycling, continues to push for the incorporation of green and sustainable road infrastructure like cycling and walking lanes in the country's program that will go a long way in achieving a just road system. She has also ventured into cross-teaching for women in prison to cross-stitch the embroideries which are kept in a frame and sold and the money from the cross-teaching is given to them once they leave the prison. After many years, I happened to have traveled out of the country and I came across a piece of cross-stitch that was very big and it looked like, you know, the technology had changed. Indeed, technology had changed on how to do cross-stitch. It was easier. So I bought several suitcases, brought them and when I got here, I thought, wow, why can't we empower the women in prison behind bars, the vulnerable, so that at least they can stitch and that is how I thought about uh, the women behind bars. She also started a poultry project which supplies chicks to women across the country at an affordable price. Rachel Ruto now takes the tag of First Lady from Margaret Kenyatta. For Prime Edition, Amnisi Imano.